lighting of the lamp, we have a verse reading from the Bible. So I request Sir Sunil. Taken from the Holy Book of Wisdom. Happy is the person who meditates on wisdom and reasons intelligently, who reflects in his heart on her ways and ponders her secrets. Pursuing her like a hunter and lying in wait on her paths, who peers through her wisdoms and listens at her doors, who camps near her house, who places his children under her shelter and lodges under her box, who is sheltered by her from the heat and dwells in the midst of her glory. Whoever fears the Lord will do this, and whoever holds to the law will obtain wisdom. She will come to meet him like a mother, and like a young bride she will welcome him. She will feed him with the bread of learning and give him a water of wisdom to drink. He will learn on her and not fall, and he will rely on her and not be put to shame. She will exalt him above his neighbors and will open his mouth in the midst of the assembly. He will find gladness and a crown of rejoicing and will inherit an everlasting this is the word of the Lord.
Palu, palu. Palu. Oh, Tony, I'm going to go.
occasion. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's program a resounding success. First and foremost, I thank our principal, Father Matthew, for his kindness, support, vision, and commitment. I like to thank all my colleagues for their continued support and valuable contribution and cooperation. I like to thank the participants who made this occasion a special one. I also like to thank all the parents, guardians and their children without whose presence this ceremony would be incomplete. Last but not the least, I owe special gratitude to the non-teaching staff who have also worked hard to ensure this occasion becomes a memorable success. Once again, I thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Oh, my. 